Hello everyone, you are tuned in to the Anything Bucket on WRPBI TV. I'm your host, Jonathan J. Dog Letterman, and I'm joined in the studio right now with a very special guest. He's an artist, a voiceover talent, an inspirational speaker, and the founder of Not One Forgotten. Please welcome Joel Gresham to the Anything Bucket. Joel, welcome. I'm glad to be here. Thanks and for having me. I, I was very excited to meet you. We, uh, we met at a Starbucks yes, and yes. I overheard you talking about uh, something that's near and dear to uh, me and that's the uh, effort of cancer awareness. And I started to think, you know, we, we have all this, you know, breast cancer awareness for the women and we're uh, talking about women all the time about getting checked and, and uh, taking care of themselves. What about something for the men? a men's wellness, a men's awareness. And uh, you told me about your project, project, Not One Forgotten, and that's what this pin's about. It's the blue uh, necktie. Blue and black necktie. And uh, Joel's gonna tell you a little bit about himself and about his Not One Forgotten uh, project. Okay, um, I am an artist. Uh, I've been, been an artist for about 30, 30 years or more. And, um, my inspiration came when I lost two good friends uh, to cancer. It really blew my mind. Uh, they died uh, four months apart uh, out of Atlanta. And at that point, uh, I decided to do some research and I discovered that uh, uh, there was nothing out there for men. Not one uh, symbol, major symbol for all cancer. And so uh, I did start, start the research discovered that um, uh, as I continued to do the research, I went over to uh, the CDC website and discovered that 300,000 men die each year from cancer, and that blew my mind. And so uh, I, was, I was doing an exhibition for, um, for women with cancer, and I overheard a doctor say, wow, if there was something out there that was handsome enough for men to wear, uh, I would wear it. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing because earlier that year, I had already designed the blue and black necktie. And um, so from that point on, um, we uh, started the campaign uh, little by little and here we are. And I know you've gotten a lot of press about it. And it's something really important because you know, we, we hear breast cancer awareness, breast health awareness, whatever you're going to call it, month of October, everything goes pink. And people don't understand, men also get breast cancer. Yes, yes they do. And that's again where a project like yours, uh, Not One Forgotten, comes into play. Uh, you mentioned, you know, that there's not a lot out there. I know through my work with the American Cancer Society that there is an organization, well, uh, components, a support group for men with prostate cancer called Man to Man. Yes. Because you can talk to people about it and uh, that's what we're here to do today is talk about it, the, the awareness and uh, the mission that you have with Not One Forgotten. So if you can share a little bit about the vision and the mission for yourself of working with your nonprofit group, Not One Forgotten. Well, our, our goal is simple. Uh, what we want to do um, throughout this nation, because we decided to make this a nationwide campaign, is to end complacency and fear in men uh, permanently. That's the, that's the number one goal right there. Uh, the second goal will be to get the symbol out there where uh, men can begin to feel excited about uh, that we have a, our own symbol for all cancer. One of the things that I discovered that uh, when I was doing my research, uh, and, and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the, with the blue ribbon, but typically um, through my research I began to ask men how do they feel about wearing a ribbon? And I discovered that the majority of the men said, well, we don't like wearing ribbons. So, but that's the only thing that we had out there for prostate cancer was, was the blue ribbon. So I decided to design something that was uh, a little bit more uh, exciting for us, that represent us well. And the colors in the blue and black necktie has an incredible uh, meaning. And when I was looking for something to uh, uh, the, the colors to give our to give to our own uh, beauty as a uh, as a symbol for men's cancer. 
uh, I was looking to, towards the sky, and the blue represent hope and faith, and the black is for healing. And that is an amazing way to put it, because all the symbolism and what we put out into the universe, our feelings, yes. come back to us. And it's very important that we put the right message out there. You know, years ago, people would say, oh, he's, he's, they'd whisper, he's got cancer. Oh, the, the, the C word. It was swept under the rug. Now it's come out to the forefront. Yes. Uh, but still a male, because of machoism, ego, egoism, a lot of them, they're not going to wear a pink shirt. Right. They're not going to wear a pink ribbon. You know? But with a blue necktie that can match everything because it's the baby blue with the black uh, stripe for remembrance, for the healing, the hope, the faith, that's something they can wear proudly and uh, wear it as an awareness. Yes. Now, I know that you're in the process of raising funds for different uh, projects to build the awareness, to uh, put, place people in the right direction. So if you can tell people how they can make donations. Well, they can make donations to uh, Joel Gresham. We could go to my website. And I'm, excuse me, not my website, but we have uh, my, my email or my Facebook. Uh, my email is ibprojectsjg at gmail.com or my Facebook, uh, notoneforgotten.com or Joel Gresham uh, for Facebook. Excellent. And uh, with any of the donations that are, are made, have you set aside uh, plans where you can fund special events, uh, gatherings to honor male cancer survivors, uh, or where they can just get together for a fellowship, their uh, survivors and caregivers? Yeah, there, there are different organizations that are out there that we can uh, basically send them to. Uh, that's one of the things that we want to do with Men's Cancer Awareness. Our main focus, uh, JD, is the symbol first and preaching awareness uh, second. Uh, but what, what we're doing that is very, very special right now is I'm doing a campaign of 100 painted neckties in less than 100 days. And those neckties are going to be donated to cancer centers and hospitals uh, throughout the, the nation. So we're excited about that. That is very exciting. That's great news that, uh, you know, somebody could go in and, you know, get the neckties. I know that you uh, are on exhibit right now. Yes. Um, I believe it was the uh, Carl Springs uh, Center for the Arts? No, no, it's uh, um, Sunrise uh, Civic Center. Okay, the Sunrise Civic Center. Yeah, yes, gallery, yes. All right. And uh, again, they can find out information uh, on your website uh, or, or just type in not one forgotten cancer awareness project and it does come up in Google because yes, uh, yes. that's how I did my research. <laughs> Technology is a beautiful thing. And if somebody wanted to order um, some of the uh, blue and black necktie uh, lapel pins, uh, how can they go about doing that and how much do they cost? Well, the, the blue and black necktie, that's, that was our first fundraiser and uh, we're asking for $20 for the pin. And, uh, and the way that they can uh, request uh, a pen, they could go to my uh, email at ivyprojectsjg uh, uh, at gmail.com. And we want to encourage everybody to uh, get with Joel. Um, I know on the art end, I know you do commission pieces, so if somebody wants a nice piece for their, uh, yep. their home, to definitely connect with uh, you about that, but also to connect with you about the uh, Not One Forgotten program. And ladies and gentlemen, we encourage you, get checked early. Early detection is the key because if you know about it, you can survive it. And for the men out there, don't be afraid to step up and speak up and get yourself checked uh, because we want you healthy. We'll be back with a few more guests on the Anything Bucket. Until then, we remind you to stay positive.